Hi everyone, I just found a new way of fine tuning a model with lesser VRAM. This method is called as Spectrum, which is a new technique that identifies the most informative layers in the language model. So what happens is that we first analyze the model, we select only a fraction of the model for fine tuning and then we simply fine tune those layers that not only optimizes training efficiency, it gives us better results than things like QLORA and then more importantly it saves us time and VRAM. In this video not only I am going to show you how to do that step by step locally for free but I'm also going to explain in very simple words as what exactly is happening when we are fine tuning all of these inner, I would say nuances of the model. I'm not expecting you to be the machine learning engineer or any PhD in AI. So stay tuned, sit back and then enjoy the show. I'm also going to give you the link to this notebook which has been very graciously built by Stefano Firoshi and then we will see how it works and the notebook is so flexible you can easily tailor it to your own use case you can select your own data set or you can select your own model in order to fine tune it so now we know what spectrum is now we know what we are going to do so let's get started I am Fahad Mirza and I welcome you to the channel if this is the first time you are here uh, I would highly request you to please subscribe to the channel. You won't be disappointed. You can check out the channel for various videos. And I try to do the videos in as simple words as possible. So now what we are going to do here, as I mentioned earlier, we are going to use this tool Spectrum. So what Spectrum does, it analyzes all the layers in the model and then it calculates a signal to noise ratio for each layer. And then it only selects the most informative layer of each model, uh, each layer type and then it freezes the entire model except these layers and focus only fine tuning them. So let's get started and we will get it installed on our local system and then go step by step. Before that, let me give a huge shout out to Mast Compute who are sponsoring this VM and this GPU NVIDIA RTX A6000 which I am going to use with 48 GB of VRAM. If you are also looking to rent a GPU on very affordable prices, I will drop the link to their website and I am also going to give you a 50% discount coupon which you can use for the same GPU or any other uh, GPU which you can find on the website. So first up as usual, let's create a virtual environment with Conda. This shouldn't take too long. This will keep everything separate from our local installations. And now let's install all the prerequisites which include CUDA, Transformers and Accelerate and also the data set and Hugging Face Hub because we need to download the data set from there. And now let's install Flash Attention. Most of the newer GPUs from NVIDIA like Hopper and Ampere series they should have and they should be supporting this flash attention and this is going to speed up our training and now let me launch a Jupyter Notebook environment and the notebook is ready now what we are going to do in this video as per this notebook we are going to take Microsoft's Phi 3 mini model and then we will train it on an English and Italian data set and we will primarily be tailoring or fine tuning this Phi 3 model to work in Italian. So that is what we are going to do. Of course, you can select your own model and you can select your own language or your own data set if you like. Now, whenever we are dealing with these data sets, we need to first apply the data sets to a common format because we are using two data sets, something like this. And then you see that what all we are doing, we are importing these libraries and then we are getting this um, English data set from Maxim LeBone and from there we are simply converting it to shear GPT sort of format here. And then this is a simple function to do the conversion and then we are also getting this model here as you can see with the tokenizer and this is the template and you can see this is the Italian data set which is Capybara Cloud 15k so and so we are apply so we are adapting the data set to a common form format 
then we are applying the 53.5 mini chat template from the tokenizer and then towards the end here we are creating a unified data set and reserving a small fraction for future evaluation so let me run this and the data set processing is complete as i mentioned earlier next up we need to specify the sequence length and here you can define the sequence length so and the reason why we are setting this max sequence length is because we need to indicate the maximum sequence length to be considered during training and the longer examples from the data set will be truncated and that is why we just want to maybe stick with 2048 this is a chosen length which we are going with so if i run it this should work out of the box so it is just processing that and then just keeping the chosen length to 2048 and it will it will standardize our set to and that is time two so the percentile looks quite good there is, there is uh, not much i would say um, truncation only eight to nine percent of our uh, examples have been truncated okay now let's get the model and this is the model simple transformer uh, libraries which we are using to download the model and its tokenizer and the model is being downloaded as you can see here there are two shards of it so let's wait for it to get downloaded while it downloads let me also give a huge shout out to our sponsors of the video who are iGenBot iGenBot lets you effortlessly deploy a personalized knowledge bot across platforms like Discord, Slack and others it is ideal for open source tech communities and startups that provide user support and I will drop the link to their website in video's description. Okay, so let's wait here. And while it downloads, maybe we'll just go to our terminal and try setting up the spectrum. So you see, so first I'm just going into another terminal window because the spectrum doesn't work with notebook. That is why we are going to the shell. I have activated my Conda environment with this Conda activate environment name, which in our case is AI. I am git cloning the repo of spectrum and I will drop the link to it in video's description. I have seeded into that spectrum directory here. Now, once you are there, you can install all the requirements let me quickly do that so it's a simple pip command which we can use in order to get it installed should not take too long and that is done okay and meanwhile our models are already downloaded so let's run the spectrum now and in order to run spectrum all you need to do is to run this command which it's a, you know either from hugging face or your local model which in our case is this 53.5 mini and we are only targeting top 30 percent of the models layer so let me run it and there you go it has launched this it is asking me to select the uh, batch size now default is one so and then we will be so you can just go with i think okay is fine it is downloading the model from hugging face i think it should already be there okay i will let it download it should have detected the existing one but that is fine and after loading the model uh, in my gpu it is asking me which layers to select or to which layers types to scan so in this one i will just go with all of them but you can uh, if you just want to be selective at least try to select the mlp and the attention layers and then I have clicked on OK. It is calculating that signal to noise ratio for the layers here. And I think the model is just around under 4 gig of uh, size and it takes less than 2 minutes. It is showing you ETA2 even less than 1 minute, I would say. It's very, very fast. And that should result in a YAML file. Now, the interesting bit is that they also upload these YAML files pre built in their repo. So maybe your model already has been uh, checked by them so you don't even have to do this step but it's always a good idea if you want to customize it to generate your own yaml file so let's wait for it and there you go it has taken less than two minutes to calculate that signal to noise ratio and it has saved it here not only in this yaml format but also in the json format and a very quick one 
when we say signal to noise ratio it means that the ratio of useful information which is signal to irrelevant or unnecessary information which is the noise a higher snr or signal to noise ratio indicates that the model is better at extracting relevant features and ignoring irrelevant ones and if you remember that i was going with mlp and attention layer so mlp layers are the layers in the model which process input data through a series of linear transformations and non-linear uh, activations they are like chain of mathematical operation that transform the input data into higher level representation so and then attention layer are designed to focus on specific part of input data that are relevant to the task at hand they are like a spotlight that shines on the most important features ignoring the rest so this is the difference between these two anyway so we have our yaml file and uh, we have our json file but we are only interested in this yaml file here and i have just opened that yaml file in my vs code just to show you so if you remember we freeze all the layers of the model and we just on only unfreeze the ones which have higher signal to noise ratio so these are all the layers which have been unfrozen and some of them are attention layer and some of them are mlp layer in the uh, inward of the model so this this is what it looks like simple yaml file nothing fancy about it just mentions the layer uh, info and now i am back to my jupyter notebook where we already have downloaded the model and now what we are going to do we are going to load that yaml file which was generated by spectrum and then we are going to define this simple freeze and unfreeze parameter function and we are going to apply that to our model so primarily what this is doing this is simply freezing all the model parameters and unfreezing those selected by the spectrum that is all it is doing and then we are printing it out so let me run this and you can see that it has printed all the layers name next up we can define our model and the usual stuff around hugging face uh, trl library you can also use it with exolotl but i'm just going to go with this trl which is quite good this is the model name and in the honor of the creator i'm just keeping it as is because i'm not going to go through all the training it, it, as it takes 14 hours or 15 hours but you see that here all we are doing we are specifying the usual parameters around its training as you can see uh, i already have done various videos on it but just to give you a quick idea max sequence length here again uh, we already have explained and then data set is uh, text field mean that this is a field in our prepared data set packing true means that it enables a packing where multiple short examples are packed into same input sequence which increases efficiency learning rate this is uh, lower than the usual learning rate for instruction fine tuning and i believe that this is what 3.5 mini uses and then the batch size is 8 and we are just using it to fully utilize the 48 gpu of vram if you are using smaller gpu you can consider using gradient accumulation for example you can set a uh, gradient accumulation steps to 4 and batch size to 2 if you have a less vram but it will take long time too okay so let me create this and that is done next we can just simply start our training by sim uh, sft trainer and as you can see it is a packing it is packing the training data set and then it is going to tr start the training and then it is going to take around 14 to 18 hours maybe even more depends upon that um, your gpu card and various other factors but as i said i'm going to drop the link to it in videos description the notebook and then you can try it out pretty good stuff i would say um with respect to the fine tuning things are improving and we are now able to do these fine tunings in less and less vram so pretty i would say uh, good progress happening in that regard let me know how you go if you have any questions feel free to post them under the video in the comments if you like the content please consider subscribing to the channel if you're already subscribed please share it among your network as it helps thank you for watching